It is 5.43 right now and time to check in on the national stories that are making headlines. For that, Russ Mitchell joins us for what's happening now in America. Hi, Russ. Hey, Betsy. Good evening. Good evening to you at home as well. We're continuing to cover the breaking news right now out of Winder, Georgia. That's about 40 miles northeast of Atlanta. Law enforcement officials say two students and two teachers are dead. Nine others hurt in a shooting at Appalachie High School. Police say a 14-year-old student is in custody and he's being charged with murder as an adult. The school will be closed the rest of the week. Now reactions are being heard across the country, including from Vice President and Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris. And it's just outrageous that every day in our country, in the United States of America, that parents have to send their children to school worried about whether or not their child will come home alive. It's senseless. It, it is. We've got to stop it. And we have to end this epidemic of gun violence in our country once and for all. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump, of course, the Republican presidential nominee, posted on his Truth social platform saying, quote, our hearts are with the victims and loved ones of those affected by the tragic events in Winder, Georgia. These cherished children were taken from us far too soon by a sick and deranged monster, end quote. Also this afternoon, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is being subpoenaed by a Republican-led House committee over the withdrawal in Afghanistan. Committee members want Blinken to answer questions about after what they called, quote, catastrophic mistakes. A hearing is set for September 19th. A suspect in the shooting of San Francisco 49ers player Ricky Pearsall is said to be arraigned in juvenile court today. The 17-year-old is facing multiple charges, including robbery and attempted murder. Pearsall is recovering and is expected back on the field in a few weeks. And as updated COVID shots hit the shelves, those without health insurance will now have to pay. Starting today, the federal program, which covered the cost of COVID vaccines for the uninsured and underinsured, ran out of funding. Roughly 25 million Americans without health insurance will have to pay up to $200 for a shot. And that is all from this desk for now. I'll see you back here in about uh, 15 minutes.